Welcome back. You're watching First Trades live on ET Now. Let me now bring on board Manish Kana, senior partner with Grand Thornton. Manish, good to have you back on ET Now. Thank you for joining us. Um, characterize the market environment for us. Things are choppy. Gro- global growth scare is not over, but Indian markets are still outperforming global markets. Uh, morning. Uh, I guess where we are, we are coming in from back of a uh, period where we've had extremely bad news. We've had policy paralysis and if ever there was an action on policy it resulted in uh, coming up with the most innovative way of how not to attract foreign investment uh, we've had high inflation we've had eurozone crisis but i think in the if we take the last two weeks uh, we've got a new man in the corner office so i think the expectation is high out there uh, we've had uh, some uh we've had all the correct things being said on a lot of the negative policies uh, whether it was gar whether it was the vodafone which were coming out uh and you know as you know in the market uh, we've we've also got uh, germany being uh, sidelined to some extent as far as the eurozone is concerned uh, action out, out there uh and we've had a substantial drop in the oil prices so you know as you know uh, markets are a combination a heady mix of uh, sentiment and fundamentals so at least at this point of time the sentiment is all right uh, people uh, expectations are uh, reasonably high in terms of the fact that a there will be no negative policies which would at least come out uh, hopefully um, the financing finance ministry will come out with positive uh, uh, action uh and uh, with uh, the crude prices uh, you know let's say that they stay within the 80 to 100 dollar range uh then it will attract money uh, into india uh and which is again being shown in the 5 7% uh, reflection in the rupee dollar price so are you cautiously bullish or are you bullish i think uh, at this i mean if, again if we look at sentiment wise we are fine uh, fundamental wise uh, if we look at it uh, again at uh, 5300 5400 nifty levels then uh, clearly in terms of the earnings we may be f- uh, my view is that at this point of time we are fully priced so what we need to see uh, is an improvement in the earnings uh, and the earnings for a lot of companies have been substantially hit because uh, demand offtake is not there uh, foreign currency loans foreign currency interest costs are hitting uh, there are a large number of companies which are uh, highly leveraged so i think i would be bullish if there is clearly uh, policy initiatives which are taken which get reflected in the earnings for the companies in india when mm. you've been reiterating to uh, you know expectations resurfacing when it comes to policy action but what is it that the market is you know watching out for is it opening up of fti in retail aviation because we've seen some clarity on at least the taxation part the gar issue actually come about I, yeah yeah there are there are two elements to it the first element clearly is that i, I think 